Hello everyone, thank you for joining. In this video we're talking about another potential DLC or update that can be done within Stormworks and it is an addition to the current oil drilling update and that is the oil sands mining update. So follow along as I explain the oil sands and how we can input it into Stormworks. Now to give you a little background, I myself have been working in the Canadian oil sands for 10 years now as an engineer, so I'm quite familiar with the process and this topic. So with that in mind, let's dig in. Now just like the oil drilling process, this is a very complex process, but I'll try to break it down into parts that can be easily done in Stormworks and I think will add to the game. So. What we have here is a diagram of the procedure that we're going to be going through. So the first thing we start is the bitumen mining. Now bitumen is the, the actual rock that has the oil sand within it and it has clay sand. It's just a formation of a different type of thing you'll see in the next slide here. But the first process is the actual mining. Now there's obviously there's a different types of it. There's the open pit mining in this case, but there is uh, drilling and steaming the actual oil sand in the ground. We're talking about the open pit surface mining. So this is what it looks like. You have this massive machine that comes and claws the ground. They're not very deep open pit mines. They're usually near the surface, but what they do is they scoop up this stuff and it already contains the oil within it. It has a very distinct smell. It smells kind of like tar. Some people call it a tar sand. But what you do is you scoop it up and you put it into this truck. So the first process is the actual bitumen mining. Now what I've created here is a very basic replica of this equipment, but I think that it would be interesting to have people be able to make this type of drill. Now, it is similar to coal mining in a sense that it like in this case, I just put these as sort of a representative image, but really they're massive scoopy arms that just break off the ground and put it into the back of the haul truck. Now there's different types of this equipment, including this bucket wheel excavator that I actually found that that exists in the game itself as part of the uh, scenery I guess it's not non-operational but you could also use this type of bucket wheel excavator to scoop up the ground itself and use then going on a conveyor down there it'll be deposited into a truck or into another conveyor that takes it off to the facility for the next step like I said there's several types of equipment that could be used and they themselves would kind of mix the coal, uh, coal uh, mining update that the game has and mix it with the oil drilling. But equipment like this and this would kind of make it interesting. Another thing to consider is you'd have to deploy this equipment and drive it over to the mine, but we'll talk about that later. So moving on to the next step, after the mining itself, you put it into the haul truck and you transport it to the ore preparation. So, so the step two is the actual transporting of the bitumen. Now this is done using these massive trucks, just like we have here. Clearly there are a variety of different trucks that one can use, but in this case, this type of operation is the most efficient. Now. There obviously will have to be some type of physics or we could just use the same type of system in the back of this as the uh, coal update where you just sort of put it into um, hoppers. Now that's fine too, but in essence you load up your truck and then take it down to the next part of the process, which is crushing the bitumen. So what happens is the haul truck backs up to a hopper that has crushers installed in it just like you see here and as the truck empties the bitumen 
the crushers crush this into workable sizes because sometimes these sizes can be like three feet or ten feet or whatever they're massive pieces of rock that are crushed so here i can envision that it'll be a facility similar to this that you could make yourself and i guess the crusher itself would probably just be a a, a pre-made kind of equipment as part of the game sort of like the slurry part of the mining or the oil drilling update but you can make a facility or a hopper that sort of collects and crushes this and if you look be below the crusher here you see a conveyor so that's something that i think would be really cool with this type of update would be the addition of conveyor systems that transport both the coal and the oil sand through uh, a system you even like it's kind of like the hopper system but i'd say there'd be drive units and it would kind of push it through into the next facility now what you do in the next stage is you add water and therefore it can go via pipeline so then you could actually have them going through the pipes like the pre-made pipes but until it's mixed with water it would be going on a surface conveyor now technically you don't need this step number four you could actually go from the ore preparation or the crushing plant all the way to the extraction and that's where you mix it with water so this hydro transport could also be just a regular conveyor that takes it to the next step which is the primary extraction or primary separation so what this is is a massive vessel or tank that you mix the bitumen with some chemicals and water so primarily at this stage you need an input of water so you'll need massive water tanks and heaters to heat up that water and this whole slurry you heat everything up and at that point it will become a mixture which then can separate into two things it either goes to the tailings pond you see below here on this diagram or it continues on to the secondary extraction. So what, what the tailings pond is, is just a waste of sand and water and whatever you don't end up using. And going on to the froth is the next step, which is the upgrading process. So technically your first primary extraction could get you product and even the game can kind of make it. So the first extraction is enough to get you say like 20% yield or something and the rest is wasted I, I, Those numbers are just I'm just pulling them out that I'm not sure the actual numbers I'm not a chemical engineer. I'm a structural engineer So I don't know if it's 20% or less or more But let's say the game would set an arbitrary number for how much you can extract Out of your bitumen for the primary and then the secondary you'd ramp up that number based on the process you do so the secondary extraction could consist of a couple different things like rotary breakers, mix boxes and wet crushers and each one of these would be super cool to model in Stormworks. Now as either an existing uh, or pre-built member that you just put into your facility like that kind of like that slurry um, filter that's, that are, they already have or it would be something that you make like most of it and then maybe only put the actual screen for example which is a pre-made thing now that in this case this whole thing spins and i'm not quite sure of the physics involved in this maybe they would make the screen a pre-made element and that you inserted into this but regardless this is one of the processes that can be done you also have mix boxes which is just a bunch of baffle plates on a screen and the wet crusher which uses crushers and water now the cool thing or that the thing that could be interesting that Stormworks can do is all of these things, whether they're the rotary breakers, the mix boxes, or the wet crushers, they all have a certain lifespan and they have to be replaced. So it could be a system kind of like the rods that go into the drill, into the wellhead. You have to make or replace your crusher or mix box or rotary breaker at a certain time now obviously the developers m could choose just one of these maybe just have rotary breakers and just call it a day but regardless this would be a massive element that you need a crane to come and lower into place so your building or your facility would have to be able to 
accept it. Maybe the roof opens up or maybe you slide it in. This is a real life problem, by the way. I've, de I've myself been involved in designs where we had to take uh, things like this, not, not quite a rotary breaker, but a screen and have it rolled in or wheeled in on rails into a building. And you have to have a massive truck crane come and drop it down and take the old one away and put a new one in. So this could be something that kind of like the rods where you have to truck them in from a, another site, bring it here and have it installed in place after a certain amount of, like it has a lifespan and then it wastes and you got to change this thing. So you got to have a really smart system to kind of keep the thing operational without downtime. No matter which one of these things you take, one of these three, you need that replacement option. And after that, so you've gone through your secondary um, extraction and at that point you could put it into storage as crude oil or distill it into what we have for the current oil update. Now obviously um, the process is much more complicated than that. You don't just end up with crude oil after this and it has to go through multiple stages but this is a very very simplistic approach that could be done in Stormworks. So what did we miss? We missed the tailings. So what happens from all this extraction you keep adding water but you do end up with wastewater that has to be dealt with now some of it could be reused so you could have a filter that reuses your wastewater but the rest of it has to go into a tailings pond and there it settle the sand settles and it becomes kind of safe to just leave there but this is something that i thought about as well to add into the game as part of the realism. Now, how I see this working in Stormworks is it would be a massive facility, but by massive, I, let's say the existing size of the oil platform would be the size of the facility. So bigger than our oil drilling well, but not to the point that developers have never done it before. So I would say this red part here where it says you build this this would be the size of that oil platform that we have and you'd there put you'd put on the, on it the the different things but let's start with the open pit mine so we would have the open pit mine close by maybe like a kilometer maybe less so you kind of have to drive your trucks to and from this you have to bring your excavator to that area so you spawn the red part here with the dotted line and there is the tailings pond is already there so the open pit mines there the tailings pond is there and this yellow thing you see the truck driving onto that's already there and all that is is a big retaining wall so you have to develop the crushing plant or the crusher where the trucks drop the stuff into but they have the hill pre-made to drive onto so in essence you spawn your creation and it has a garage and a shop you probably spawn your excavator right there. You drive it down or truck it down to the open pit mine and you spawn some trucks. Like they all spawn with this or you drive them from a different spot. Like you could drive them out to this place on a massive truck. That's how actually how they do it. So whichever you get your truck down to your site, you get the excavator down, you get your replacement screens or rotary breakers and they all come to this area where they can be installed. So you have your crushing plant, your primary separation, your secondary separation, if you wanna have a distillation and a storage, and then you could use either conveyors or pipe it, pipe it in, mix it with water and pipe it in to move it around. Obviously, if they don't put conveyors, you could also bring it around in trucks. Like you could crush it and put it into a truck and drive it to the next stage or have it moving in and mixing, mixing it in with water and then you have like a diluted bitumen pretty much until you separate it into the actual crude oil and the rest of it would have to be filtered out and either trucked out to the to the tailings pond or you uh, pump it out so that's why i had a corner of this place actually is the tailings pond so you could have like a pre-made pipeline system that moves to it and lets it settle so pretty much that's my idea. That's from my experience and years of like 10 years of working in the oil sands industry. But I do, once I saw that you guys came out with the uh, oil drilling update, I immediately thought how cool it'd be to mix our coal mining and the oil 
drilling into an oil sands type of operation. And realistically, most of the existing infrastructure is already there in the game. So it just comes down to adding a couple of other things and then it could be used. Now what's fun about it or what makes it different is the fact that within the oil sands and we're within drilling or within the oil industry, sorry, there's many different types. You have like SAGD, you have the uh, different types of horizontal drilling and all that stuff. So all like there's the oil industry is massive, both in cost and in terms of the scale in the world. So I definitely think putting this type of thing would add to the game and kind of give that industrial update that much more of a zing. And not to mention some really cool equipment that people get to make. That's the most, most, most important part, I find. Just the fact that people could then make these massive machines, truly amazing equipment, to be honest, and put it to use, not just like visually, but actually use it and make oil out of it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe learn something about the oil sands and stay tuned for more ideas. Stay tuned for more videos and more creations. And most of all, happy stormworksing.